get drunk and don't dance. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the weekend. It is currently 9.30 in the morning. And Brad and I are on our way to get the pilot inspected. So we're going to do that. And we're going to kind of hang out around the Hunt Valley area while we get that done. Maybe, like, get food somewhere. Maybe I'll grab some Dunkin' Donuts. We got up and we were kind of in a rush getting ready because last night we stayed up kind of late. I mean, y'all, it was, it was a long week. It was a long ass week. Just dropped the pilot off, got Dunkin' Donuts and walked around the Amish market. Now we're going to go to Michael's and I hope that it's open. I think it just opened like a couple, sorry, you can't see. I think it just opened this week or last week. I can't remember. I don't know. We'll have to see how this person's gonna go. I don't knit, but this is so cool. They're Pantone inspired yarn balls. <laughs> and like it has the picture they're inspired by all the colors. It's really cool. So we didn't find anything in Michael's, but we ended up going to Joann's and I found, burp, burp, burp. I found these two little patches that I think I'm gonna put on my overalls. I think I'm gonna put them on my overalls for one of my outfits for Disney. I love them because I feel like you can't really, I don't really find that many pastel patches. So, I mean, this is my first time patching at all, but I feel like the pastel colors are pretty on the rare side. So I think we are going to find somewhere to eat lunch and then we're gonna go pick up the pilot. We just ate a Chick-fil-A and now we are at the Oregon Bridge Trail. Not Oregon Trail. We will not die from dysentery today, hopefully. And I saw this cool little tree house from the road and I'm trying to, we're trying to figure out a way to get to it. Oh my God, chitchens. <laughs> Look at all those chitchens. These are naturally found in the area. This is so cool. I want to put together a little bee house this summer. We'll see, because we have a lot of wildlife where we live, so I feel like we could make a little house for bees. Look, they have all these like little bee nurseries. Everything in the garden is so cool. is terrible. It's totally a fireplace right in the center. Guys, we found this like creepy little room. It's so scary. <laughs> I don't know. Like this is this was a house. But we can't find any signs on what this was or who owned it or anything. We do not know. There's the creepy little tree house. They have this like cute little 
playground park, but it's like all natural. And then they have this little take a book, leave a book. It's awesome. But you can't see him because of the, there's a little hoot owl up in there. And this tiny little house, and it's made completely bubbles. How cool. I feel like right now we're in the Jack Skellington holiday trees. Oh. Note to self, impromptu adventures, not good for the shoes. But it's worth it. Because you find cool ass places like this. I can't wait to come back here this summer. This is amazing. Oh, maybe bees are in there. Bee bee bees! We picked up the pilot! Ice Bear Pass Inspection. We are on our way home. Brad's in his car. He's following me, kind of, in a way. And I'm going to clean off my shoes because they are muddy as hell. I'm not sure what the plan is for the rest of the day. It's not freezing out, but it is like mega gloomy and really wet everywhere. So, oh my god. So, I'm not really sure what we're going to do now. I know I said it already, but I feel like we're really needed to get out there in nature, away from all the bullshit, away from all of the people, <laughs> away from people, away from, you know, technology for the most part, obviously I've vlogged it, but I tried to be in the experience as much as I could. Sometimes that's what you just need. That's, sometimes that's just what I need to feel better, to feel more myself, is just to get out in nature and explore. This week, this past week, was supposed to be a my treat yourself self-care week. And it was horrendous. Like, Tuesday was okay. I got to sleep in a little bit because I had to go to work a little bit later. And I like took my time getting ready. I, you know, pampered myself a little bit. I like did a face mask and and everything. And Tuesday was was a pretty good day, but the rest of the week was really rough. And I ended up doing things for other people or having very serious conversations with people. And I felt like I fell into this really bad place again. I say again, like you. I was there ever, but I fell into a bad place by the end of the week. So the fact that we were able to get up a little bit earlier than usual and get out of the house and explore felt really, really good. And now I finally feel at the very end of the week, I finally feel like myself again. And this was Brad's idea to get out and do this. So been turning on the notifications because it also will notify you when I upload something. Not that you're all dying to see it right away, but like, I don't know. Just something to think about. Guess what I got for maybe to help my dark circles. I ended up getting these today. It came in the mail, so we shall see. 
started using the rosehip oil, but that ended up like, it gives me like the weirdest, like, not you, I mean, you can't see it right now, but like bumps on my head. And then I got this little guy and then I have like something down here and I don't put it very liberally on my face. I just, I usually just put it right here and like right here and I'll just like kind of pat it in, but I don't know. It's not working for me. I mean, it works miracles for everybody else, but it's not for me. <laughs> I don't know. My skin's so ridiculous. So I got these and we're going to add this into the AM skincare routine. <sighs> oh snap. Look what else came in the mail. A little wrinkly, but it's fine. I'm going to pay attention to my pajama pants that I immediately put on. Look how cute. I think I might like tie it up a little bit. I think I might tie it and wear like shorts with it and roll up the sleeves and everything, but he's so cute. Brad's taking the girls for a walk and I'm laying on the couch. <laughs> like real winner. I just felt really, really cozy, and I threw my hoodie on, and I was like, mmm, that couch looks nice. I hear a cat. So, fun fact, I uploaded the Weekend Warrior vlog from last week on Friday, and it was scheduled to go up, and everything was great. Oh, there's a cat tail. <laughs> and... Only half of it uploaded! What is that crap, YouTube? So I had to re-upload it this morning after I got home again. Such a pain. Such a pain. So I'm sorry for that. So it effed up my views. Plan for the rest of the day. I don't know. I have to return something to Target. I decided that I am going to take a bath. So I am going to grab a candle. And I have this amazing bath fizzer that my friend Heather got me for Christmas. And I'm really excited to use it. I was waiting for a time where I really needed it. And today is that day. So. Also part of the self-care routine. Dove dark chocolate. Fresh box. Fresh stuff. I don't know what that is. <laughs> These are the three meals that we got. We got we got this seared barramundi. Oh, it's fish and horseradish. And we got sweet and sour, oh no, just kidding. And we got sweet and smoky pork chops and hot honey chicken. Holy crap. Okay, so here's each of the bags. Should be one more. Ever Monday. That's it. Yep. That's what we got. Mom and Dad out on the town. Seven thirty. <laughs> we just got done eating, and it was so good. And now. On our way to Yep. Mom and Dad. Worst place on earth. Out. Oh, that guy just kicked my cart. Out on a Saturday night. Brad found a killer deal. For one, you get one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, boy.
boy. Back in the hoodie. Back in the hoodie, you know what that means. I'm gonna hang out with the babies. See you tomorrow. Good late afternoon. Daylight savings time this morning. Well, two o'clock this morning. And we slept the F in. And we have just been taking our time today. It's been so awesome to just relax and sleep and be really, really lazy. <laughs> it kind of makes up for the lack of treat yourself week. So right now I'm working on a video for a friend and I think Brad's attempting to bake something. <laughs> I think he'll do fine. He's really great at following instructions. So he's working on that. I think I might repot my little coffee plant because I think the, I think the pot that I got for her is a little bit too small when I re planted her I didn't realize how big her roots were so I got her a bigger pot which is over there can't probably can't there's the one that I'm repotting her in and then that's the one she's currently in so I'm excited for that but it's more uh, more plant stuff more editing baking and just relaxing and enjoying the day repotted I took some from here and I put him in here. This poor guy. It's an ongoing journey. And this guy, my friend Ashley gave me this guy. And then this is just like, mm -mm, hopeless. I had him like by the sun and the draining is, you know, it's got like a nicely draining situation, but it's just not, it's not working out. It's not working out. This guy's thriving like him. My little tree. So fun. Fits a lot nicer in there. I hope he'll be happy. This guy hasn't grown since I got him and I think I've been overwatering him. Apparently they don't take that much water. I'm working on it guys. Need this to be great. I'm like slowly kind of changing the decor from this like super girly situation to more of like, I mean, it's still pretty girly, but more of like a bohemian kind of, don't pay attention to the kitty litter, gross, to more of like a bohemian feel. I just want more plants. I want like a hanging plant. I want all the plants. But before I can get all the plants, I have to know that I can actually take care of them and not kill them. I've had the ones that I've had for like, I've had the snake plant for like it, definitely at least a couple of years. And my sister gave me that guy and this, these two little guys. So, and that was last year. So I've had them and of course the cats have like eaten them to shreds. So I'm keeping them up here and they haven't, the cats don't come up here, so he's actually been growing back pretty nicely. But that's the situation with the plants. And it, oh, I have this little guy. It's my little, it's called a boo-boo plant. Brad got me this for my birthday last year, and he's actually grown quite a bit, but you only water it once a month. So I think it's almost time to take him out of his little case. It's almost been a year, but he's so cute, my little boo-boo. He's actually doing really, really well. I think he'll eventually have flowers if he grows to be a little bit bigger. But it's like the first cactus that I've been able to keep alive. We're bacon. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Brad's finally making his favorite chocolate chip cinnamon cake. And this is a test one. He's even making a test one. 
before he makes the real one. It's very exciting. Proud of you. I'm trying. Learning new <laughs> things. Brad baked his first cake. It looks delicious. Decided we were going to make this the seared barramundi and horseradish sauce for dinner. So I'm gonna do that. So it gives you all of the ingredients. Got a fry seasoning, mayo, a little packet of sour cream, protein, potatoes, apple, lemon, and mixed greens. Triple wash. Oh yeah. And then I just use the bag as a little like trash thing uh, where I throw the trash. And then it gives you this little informational card about where the fish comes from, which I think is pretty cool. just realized that it was the chicken that I got out instead of the fish. Brad saved me. <laughs> I have all the potatoes cut up and I'm gonna put these fish fry seasoning on it, or half of it. All of the instructions. So here's where we're at right now.
see. Feels really good about it. Well, that was delicious. I'm pretty excited for the next one. I think we're gonna do this sweet and sour smoky pork chops tomorrow night. Very excited for that one. I think that one's on like, I forget what they call it. So that one's a, like a Hall of Fame one. So I'm very excited for that. But it was good. It was very, very easy to make. Everything complemented each other really well. Like the apples and were like just the perfect amount of sweetness. And then they had, I had the sour cream with the mayo and the fish, um, not sauce. I mean, it was like a fish, I don't know. Everything worked really well together. I hope that you had a great weekend and I will see you next week. Peace. Hi,